Welcome back to RG Geek. Today I want to talk about something special I got. As a YouTube Premium member, Google gave me this Stadia controller and uh, Chromecast Ultra. So I could try it out with three months of uh, Stadia Pro. And I was a skeptic at first. I was like, eh, Stadia, that failed console, could go next to my Ouya. But I've been playing this thing, it's fun. <laughs> I've been really enjoying it. So, I, um, I'm not going to show you what comes in the box. That's You can watch any unboxing video online for that. Um, the Chromecast Ultra is really small though. It fits, can fit right in the palm of your hand like that. So, I've been shocked at just how tiny this is and yet how, well, what amazing game experience I have here. You see here on the intro screen, we've got uh, the Stadia controller. So. If I was currently playing on a different device, like say I was playing on my iPhone or my iPad or my MacBook or my Android phone, I mean, it works pretty much everywhere. Uh, I could come here and then I pair it by typing that code at the top, up XB, up. And actually my only complaint, this controller, so you can see my favorite controller over here, it's the 8-bit do, uh, SN30 Pro Plus, and this is the Stadia controller right here. And the only thing I have that I don't like about it is that the X and Y and the A, B are swapped from what I, I like as a retro gamer, of course, the Nintendo setup. But how about we get in here and I can show you around and give you a retro gamer's perspective on Stadia. So I just tap this quickly and it will change to Stadia. Give it a second there. There it goes. So, I've been enjoying a lot of uh, like retro style games on here, as I'll get into quickly. I've pretty much, the question I always get is, do you get lag? So, I'll say, no, I haven't really experienced lag. The only lag I've experienced was in uh, Pac-Man Mega Tunnel Battle, and that wasn't actually lag because of cloud gaming, it was a lag because of multiplayer, like a typical multiplayer lag experience. But that's actually only happened a couple times as well. So, uh, so there you go. I can show you some of the games. Just a quick uh, um, intro. There's 31 games in Stadia Pro. So if you subscribe to Stadia Pro, you get access to those. Actually, might be. I think it's 33 now. Actually, they added some yesterday after I wrote my notes for this video. Uh, there's two games that are completely free to play: uh, Destiny 2, which is a first-person shooter, and Super Bomberman R, which is a 64-player Bomberman game, uh, so Bomberman Royale, you could say. Uh, in total, there's uh, there's over 100 games, so there's something for everyone. Uh, so the controller itself, um, I, I love this thing. Um, the only thing I'm not too thrilled about is the, the very clicky D-pad, but, you know, it's nice, it's fine. All right, so... Uh, Pac-Man Mega Tunnel Battle is a 64-player Pac-Man game. It's pretty cool. Uh, Super Bomberman R, like I said before, a 64-player Bomberman game. Panzer Dragoon is a remix of the old uh, Saturn game. It's really good because I actually hadn't played the Saturn one. I went back and I played it, and I like this one a whole lot better, I have to say. But it also could be because I suck at these games, and I could put this one on easy, and there was no easy mode on the old Saturn game. So... Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris, or Osiris, I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, it was fun, a nice little 3D puzzle platformer. Uh, Into the Breach is like a pixel art, um, like strategy game. This is my personal favorite so far in the system. It's called The Crew 2. It's a huge open world game. It's not retro, but I love racing games. So uh, you can basically, they have a condensed United States that you can travel all over by um, car, boat, and plane, changing vehicle whenever you want. Uh, Outcasters just came out yesterday on December 3rd, 2020, and it's an eight-player uh, twin-stick shooter, and what makes it interesting is um, that uh, after you shoot, you can even um, curve your shots, which I think is um, just fascinating. So Celeste uh, is a pixel art platforming game, and that's when you know that uh, the cloud gaming works perfectly because you need such precision controls in this game. And um, 
Yes, I played this first on Pico 8 with my uh, with Emoelec. You've seen my old video how to get uh, Pico 8 set up on your um, Emoelec system. Uh, anyway, so uh, you see I've got access to a bunch of games. Grid is another game I bought. Most of these I've just gotten with Pro, as you see the Pro title under it. They're all Pro games, so you pay 10, 10 bucks, 10 euros a month. Um, you, get, you can claim games. It works a bit different than other cloud systems. You claim games and then you um, well then they'll be in your library forever. So even if you quit your subscription, um, they'll stay in your library, and then when you come back, they'll still be there. Or if say the game goes offline, they take it out of the cloud service, then it'll still be in your catalog in your library to play because you've claimed it, which I think is really fascinating. Another fascinating uh, thing is that if there's a uh, if you buy a DLC on a pro game then um, what will happen is even when your pro membership expires you can still play that because and along with the DLC you bought because you bought DLC for it which I think is all this stuff is just very consumer friendly from Google side in my opinion and I think it's really fascinating what the future holds because when I think about this I think of like Emulec is my, my emulation box as being the past I mean it's fun to play the past games obviously um, my PS4 is being the present and Stadia is being the future. I think cloud gaming really will be the future and it's just incredible what they've uh, managed to to make here. So I've been having a lot of fun with it. And as for plans for um, uh, Google is they plan, they already have set up deals with 200 developers to make 400 games. I had to double check that because it's so much. <laughs> but so I can drive around here a little bit, look at my notes occasionally. So I might run into things, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so this is what's incredible too about this. You can just like go off, off the grid, and it's still like everything's still there. I think there's another player actually. He's bumping me. It's nice of him. <laughs> All right, live gameplay right here. Yep, that's another player. It's just a massive multiplayer game here. Everything works perfectly in the cloud. So, um, what I also love is just like I said before, you can play on any device, and I'll show you some uh, Android footage at the end. And for um, so getting it running on a computer, all you do is load up the Chrome browser and go to stadia.google.com and you can just start playing stadia <laughs> it's pretty crazy like i'm getting this high quality of a game in a browser like it's blow it blew my mind because it helps because this this controller is connected directly to the internet so there's actually no connection right now between my controller and the chromecast ultra behind my tv it, this, the controller goes straight to the internet and then Google sends the stream straight to my TV. It's like, say, Netflix works, for example. And as you can see here, there's no lag. It's all working seamless. And it's just been a lot of fun. And from what I've seen online, that's the um, wait times for loading a game. I mean, you saw it yourself. It didn't take too long. Um, they're about on par with um, Xbox Series and PS5. So it's Practically like you're in the next gen. Okay, it's not quite next gen. I'll guarantee you that. This game itself is about, let's see, two years old. But um, but yeah, I saw on PS4 I could get this game for 60 euros. I, I got a Black Friday sale here for 12 euros, uh, the Ultimate Edition. And um, I saw that PS4 had a 27 gigabyte download. So I decided I want to play it. I buy it and. What, how long do I have to wait for those 27 gigabytes to download? And by then I'm like, eh, okay, I, I got it now. But with Stadia, I see a game and I just hit play and I just start playing it. It's amazing. And upgrades, you don't have to worry about upgrades. All that happens in the cloud. So no downloads and you also don't need to worry about storage space. I just think this is all just such a great concept. So. Let's fly a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
It's just been a lot of fun. I think the future is really interesting for Stadia too, because you could uh, have um, the. Um, you, I I like to think about the idea of having Stadia VR someday, where you have um, just really light, thin glasses. Because all I have to do is grab a stream, and you'll get um, great. Um, you'll get um, a great VR experience. The trouble is you really have to make sure there's no lag with that. So, I mean, it's gonna be a challenge certainly, but eventually the technology is gonna catch up. And I also heard one thing I'm really excited about, I miss streaming. And um, one thing Google plans to do, or at least I've I heard rumors of this, I don't know if it's true, is they're gonna um, set it up so that you can stream so I can be playing right here, and this stream of this game comes to my TV, or my laptop, my phone, whatever, and uh, at the same time it also goes to YouTube, and with the built-in mic on the controller, it'll then also send what I'm saying about the game straight to my stream, which I think is incredible. So I'm not, I wouldn't be using up any upload on my end to stream, which is crazy. I mean, I'm really hoping that happens. So, the craziest thing I'll leave you with, if you're interested in getting Stadia and playing it, is, um, it's a not so crazy thing is that uh, if you want to play it, you have a Bluetooth controller and a computer, you can hook it up right now and try it out right in your Chrome browser. And even get a free month of uh, Stadia Pro, so you have access to over 30 games just to play around with. And not only that, they have two games that are completely free. Like I said, there were Destiny 2, the, uh, the first-person shooter, and you had um, Super Bomberman 64, which, of course, for retro gamers is more interesting. But, um, yeah. But what's super cool right now is they have a offer. They have an offer for pre-order Cyberpunk 2077. And you'll get Stadia Premiere Edition for free. So Stadia Premiere is normally around 100 euros, like 100 bucks. And right now, if you get Cyberpunk 2077, that's uh, like 60 bucks, 60 euros, um, they'll give you uh, Stadia Edition, or Stadia Premiere for uh, free, which is crazy. Only in 2020 could we possibly have something where you get, you buy a game and get a free console. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty incredible stuff. So I even did that, I even pre-ordered that just to get the second controller because I would like to try out some of the local multiplayer games. There aren't many because, I mean, the typical Stadia owner pretty much really does just have one controller and they'll play on the mini devices, but I heard there's a couple good uh, uh, two-player games, so i um, looking forward to trying those out. All right, so I'm gonna show you, I'll hit some cars here, yeah. <laughs> so I'll show you some Android play, and hope you like this video. If you liked it, please give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time on RG Geek. <laughs> Freight Station! Alright, catch you later.